गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स ओम अस तो मतमय तम सोम ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा मृत गमय ओ शाति 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 वक्रतुंडा महाकाया सूर्यकोटि समर्पव निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्व्य सुसर्वदा गुरु ब्रह्मा गुरु विष्णु गुरु देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम ओ शांति गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गुड टू टेक क्लास फॉर ग्रेड थ्री दैट इज क्लास थ्री इन दैट साइंस lesson number 2 that is animal and plants animals and plants okay so as you know in and around we see lots of animals and lots of plants okay and we should know the animals animal eating habits how they move how they breathe what are their angles are called okay and their movement food habits okay etc we are going to learn in this lesson right so we are going to learn the animal animal what they eat their movements breathing breathes using angles etc we are going to learn and we are going to know the different plants we are going to know the different plants and how the plants breathes how the plants prepare their food etc we are going to learn in today's class okay are you ready for this All right so this is lesson number 2 animal and plants animals and plants let's start let's start so here you be see you would have watched some wild program wildlife programs on tv or read about animals and seen pictures from books can you call recollect some information from them and fill in the columns in the below table the first one has been done for you so this is how we have seen in the television wildlife wild century wildlife or wild wildlife uh, this is called wildlife program in the tv and we have visited in the circus we have uh, we have seen uh, tigers lion and the giraffe sorry zebra bear okay and even elephant all right we have seen and we have seen the pictures of tiger elephant deer bear etc okay so let's now learn what they are called how they live what their homes are how what kind of the food they eat how they move how they breathe using and the young ones what are their young ones are called okay so etc we will learn in this class so see this table see this table right here is table this is a table right so eats moves with breathing breathes using ang ones right deer deer tiger fish eagle cockroaches the tiger is a wild animal or deer is a wild animal tiger and fish fins in the water and eagle is a large bird and cockroach is a insect is an insect right what the deer eats how deer moves how deer breathes what are their ang ones are called okay this is one is been done like this we have to do for tiger fish eagle cockroaches okay what the tiger eats what the tiger eats tiger eats the flesh of other animals tiger won't eat plants tiger eats the flesh of other animals how they move how tiger moves the, they move with the help of legs they move with the help of legs breathing using lungs tigers also have a lungs their ang ones ang ones means their kids their their ang ones means their kids are are called as cubs cub 
टाइगर ईट्स फ्लश ऑफ अदर एनिमल इट मूव विथ द हेल्प ऑफ लेग्स इट मूव इट ब्रिथ्स यूजिंग द लंग्स द एंग इज कॉल्ड कब राइट नेक्स्ट फिश फिश अस small organisms it eats the small organisms it moves with the fins it moves with the fins okay it breathe with the gills it breathe using the gills and angwan is called fingerling angwan is angwan is called fingerling eagle eagle is a large bird it flies very high it eats the flesh of other animals it flies it moves with the help of wings it breathe with the external nares its angwan is called eaglet its angwan is called eaglet eaglet okay cockroach cockroach eats plants and animals cockroach eats plants and animals okay it they move with the help of legs they breathe with the help of sparacles they breathe with the help of sparacles and their ring one is called ninth their ring one is called ninth okay this is a table which describes you the animal animal eat eating habit how they move how they breathe and how what are the ring ones of the animals called okay let's learn in detail don't get very short we have a detailed descriptions about the animals and their eating habits their moving their breathing and their angwans even the plants how they they prepare the food for themselves and how they breathe okay do plants also do plants also do some of the actions mentioned above even plants also do this kind of activity it eats it breathes it can't move but it breathes and it prepares its food now discuss in the class which action done by each living thing and thus arrive at their features of characteristics okay now discuss in the class action done by each living thing and thus arrived at their features or characteristics right we will learn in detail about different types of animals animal eating habits right clear how they move how they breathe right etc the characteristics let's read we know that that animals and plants are living things right animals and plants are living things in the previous lesson we have studied that plants and animals are called living things they need food air sunlight air water sunlight okay they need air water sunlight and a food okay we know that animals and plants are living things although although they are living things and have similar characteristics characteristics they differ in the certain features characteristics and their behavior their eating habits these are called characteristics of a particular plant or animal okay they differ some certain features right let us learn more about plants and animals let us learn more about plants and animals we know that the we know that animals and plants are living things animals and plants are living will living things right we have studied this in the previous lesson although they are living things and have similar characteristics they differ in certain features let us learn more about plants and animals let us learn more about plants and animals right movement how they move that called that is called movement how they move how they walk right how they move from one place to another place with the help of legs with the help of small legs or with the help of wings with the help of fins how they move which animal moves how that's we will discuss this in a heading called movement movement right animal animals move from place to place in search of food 
in search of food and water and also to escape from their enemies they have to move from one place to another place another place in search of food water and to escape from enemies ಅವಕ್ಕೇನು ಶತ್ರುಗಳು ಇರ್ತವ ನಾವು ಯಾವುದ್ರ ಶತ್ರುಗಳು ಗೊತ್ತಾ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಟಿಂದ ಅನದರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹೋಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಫುಡ್ ಅವ್ರ ಮನೆ ತಾನೆ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಗ್ರೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಫುಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಮಾಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫೀಡ್ ಯು ರೈಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಫುಡ್ and water and also to escape from their enemies for example deer bear they run from the tiger and lion because they kill and eat them they they need a move they need to move from that place to for that they need a legs for that they need a legs right most land animals have legs to move about most land animals have legs to move about right for if you want to move from one place to another place all the land animals land animals means which they live on the land the animals which live on the land are called land animals right most land animals have legs to move about birds have wings to fly birds have wings to fly fish swim with the help of fins fish swim with the help of fins fins means fish fins lap lap just if you see the fish in the swimming in the water will come to know right most land animals have legs to move about birds have wings to fly birds have wings to fly fish fins fish swim with the help of fins snakes do not have legs snakes do not have legs they move by sliding they move by sliding their bodies they are called slither snakes slither right most land animals have legs to move about birds have wings to fly fish swim with the help of fins snakes do not have legs they move by sliding their bodies sliding their bodies right see the picture you can understand the birds are flying with the help of wings these are called wings rekke galu birds gen irtava rekke irtava rekke help in the fly martava plants remain rooted to one place but plants can't able to move from one place to another place they are rooted into the ground they are rooted to the ground they are rooted in the one place they can't able to even they are called living animals they need the soil they need soil so that they are rooted in the one place right if they want to live they need a soil air sunlight and water they prepare their own food okay so they rooted in the plants remain rooted to the one place right so next is here we can see plant remain rooted to one place but they move move their body parts roots move in search of water roots move in search of water stem move towards sunlight all living things move all living thing all living things move but one place to another place plant can't able to move but for the sake of food they need to prepare then they need a some moments there need a some moment plants remain rooted to one place but they move their body parts roots move in search of water stems move towards sunlight all the thing, living things move right clear you you have seen the plants moving their branches leaves etc but even roots also moves in search of water that is in the ground we can't able to see it but plants also make some movement with that movement only we will get the 
oxygen they move for the search of food but with the help of that only we get a oxygen oxygen means the air what we breathe in all the animals breathe in that air will be given by the plants okay so here next is food habits food habits of all the animals all living things need food and water to live right all living things need food and water to live any animal they want to live they must have the food and water air sunlight okay without help of these the living animal living things can't live anymore right you food matte water illandre living animals badaklikke sadhyane illa right animals eat plants and other animals as i told you tiger eats tiger eats animals flesh andre adur maunsa flesh of other animals whereas some animals eats plants like cow goat buffalo right sheep they eat the plants they eat the plant okay even rabbit okay animals eat plants and other animals this is because they can't make their own food this is because they can't able to make their own food unlike plants plant make their own food right deer horses and goats eat plant deer horses and goats eat plants lion lions and tigers eat other animals flesh of other animals okay andre bere do animals do mausa tin bitu badakta lion tiger okay these things lion and tigers eat other animals bears monkeys and peacock eat both plants and animals bears monkeys and peacocks eat both plants and animals vultures eat dead animals vulture bird eagle is called the eagle like animals of birds are called vulture birds vultures eat dead animals mosquitoes and leeches suck bloods you know mosquito bites when we are sitting or when we are sleeping and leeches suck blood plants make their own food in their leaves with the help of sunlight air and water right plants make their own food in their leaves with the help of sunlight air and water with the help of with the help of they plants make their own food in their leaves in their leaves where they make the food in their leaves with the help of sunlight and air and water okay they prepare their own food with the help of air sunlight and water in the leaves elegalannele nimge aa plant bekanta food tayare maadkotto okay plants also need food and water they prepare their own food they are not depends on others just they need air water and sunlight okay so something you know something you must know here from this lesson right as you uh, as we all studied that plants need plants have a life plants need a water air sunlight and the soil to live okay right that all we have studied in the previous class but some more interesting things we are going to learn from this lesson in, it's interesting if we eat rooted food rooted rotten food if we eat rotten food we would all fall sick we would we would fall sick sick andre aram tappe bidbidtu halasiddu rotten andre halasiddu food tin bitre aram tappe bidbidtuvi but vultures feed mostly on rooted meat vulture bird mostly eat root rotten meat andre kolutu hogiddu 
ಮಾಂಸನ ತಿಂತದೆ ಯಾವುದು ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಫೀಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ದರ್ ರೂಟನ್ ರೋಟನ್ ಮೀಟ್ ದರ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಾಬ್ ದರ್ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ಲಯನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೈಗರ್ ದೇ ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಗರ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈನ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ ದೇ ಇಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಲಿವ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಮೂವ್ ಫಾರ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ದರ್ ಡೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಆರ್ ಕೆ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಬಾಡಿ ದ ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಈಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಈಟ್ಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಕೊಳ್ತೋಗಿರೋದು ಉಳಿದಿದ್ದು ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆ ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ತಿನ್ನುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ದೇ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಅವಕ್ಕೆ ರೋಗ ರುಜಿನಿಗಳು ಬೇಗ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ ಅವು ಆರಾಮ್ ತಪ್ಪಿ ಬೀಳೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ನೇಚರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಲೀನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರೀವ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ಲಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಕ್ಲೀನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರೀವ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಉಳಿದದ್ದು ವೇಸ್ಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಲೆಶ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಕೊಳ್ತೋಗಿರೋದನ್ನ ಅದನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ತಿಂತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ಬರ್ಡ್ ಇದೆ ಆ ಬರ್ಡ್ಗೆ ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೀತಾರೆ ದೇ ಈಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಾಯಿಲ್ಡ್ ನಾವೇನಂತೀವಿ ಹಳಸೋಗಿರೋದು ತಿಂಡಿ ಅಂತೀವಲ್ಲ ಅಂಥ ತಿಂಡಿ ಈ ವಲ್ಚರ್ ಬರ್ಡ್ ತಿನ್ನುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಅವರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಓನ್ ಫುಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದರ್ ಓನ್ ಫುಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ಲಯನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅದರ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಈಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅದರ್ ಎನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ದೇ ದೇ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಈಟ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ರೈಟ್ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಈಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದೇ ಈಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬ್ರೀತಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಬ್ರೀತಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಇನ್ ಏರ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಈಟ್ ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಇನ್ ಏರ್ ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಉಸಿರಾಡೋದು ಉಸಿರಾಟ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಉಸಿರಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ಗಾಳಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಉಸಿರಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಗಾಳಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಉಸಿರಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಗೊತ್ತಾ ನಿಮಗೆ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಯು ಯು ನೋ ಆರ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ವಿ ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅವರ್ ನೋಸ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ದ ನೋಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವೈಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಔಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಬ್ರೀತ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ನೋ ರೈಟ್ so we breathe the help of nose right we have a lungs inside the chest in the chest we have a lungs we in the lungs the air will be cleaned okay fresh air will supply to the rest of the body all the body parts required oxygen air air oxygen all the body parts required the main how we take the air through our nostril through our nose that air goes to the filter that is called lungs after filtering the air that the air will be supplied to the all the rest of the body clear clear all the organs need oxygen even the blood also need oxygen that level oxygen level level is in the properly in the our body then only we can able to make our movement properly otherwise we fall as sick and that is to be maintained otherwise we may die right the breathing is most important the air is the most important right breathing and we know we came to know that how we breathe what about other animals let's look at here study look we let's study here all living things breathe in air most animals such as dogs cats horses and monkeys have lungs they have a nostril and in their body in the chest in our human body we call it as a chest and somehow they are going to have the lungs the dogs cats horses and monkeys have lungs in their body the air that they take in goes to the lungs where it is cleaned where it is cleaned right where it is cleaned in the lungs 
what are the animals they breathe through the lungs dogs cat horses monkeys have the have lungs have lungs the air that they take in goes to the lungs where it is cleaned where it is cleaned fish breathe in in air dissolved in water with the help of gills fish breathe with the help of gills fish fish breathe with the help of gills fish breathe in the air dissolved in the water with the help of gills like what we have nostrils like they have gills right earthworm breathe through their moist skin the whole body their moist skin this is the earthworm earthworm and their body is almost moist or something like a wet so phasi asirutte moist antandre salpa pramanadalli asirudakke moist antare a moist body through the earthworm breathes earthworm breathes earthworm breathes through their moist skin moist andre salpa hasi irutte skin adr through a uh, earthworm breathe madutte frogs can breathe through both their nostril and moist skin frog ki kuda moist skin kuda irutte hasi hasi irutte skin no even nostril kuda irutte means that's why they live on the land as well as in the water okay frog can frogs can breathe through their nostril and moist skin insects such as cockroaches beetles and flies breathe through tiny holes present on their body these holes are called spiracles these holes are called spiracles what are they breathe through insects such as cockroaches beetles flies breathe through tiny holes present on their body bodies these holes are called spiracles cockroaches beetles and flies even house fly house fly okay house fly and even mosquitoes they breathe with the help of spiracles present on the bodies okay how plants breathe through small holes called stomata on the leaf on the naked eyes we can't able to see we can't able to see if you put this leaf in the microscope you can see the st- structure like this here the small holes were present on the leaf if you observe cleanly you can able to see the small holes pores small pores right that is called as a stomata that is called as a stomata stomata right plants breathe through small holes called stomata right small holes called stomata present on their leaves these holes are so small and we can't see them with our naked eyes we can't see them with our naked eyes without without the speci- specific instrument we can't able to see we can't able to see their holes they are called pouring like our skin also have a dots like the skin also breathe sometime right if you see if you observe cleanly the skin is also having some it it sends your waste outside like we sweat right how do we sweat because we have a small holes on the skin the waste will be sent out through the body with the help of skin right so like that only the and leaf of a plant is having a small holes on their on their leaf that is called stomata that is called stomata that's called pores like sun 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 to utta utta baala sun with the help of microscope we can see microscope 
i can't just you remember the name but i will explain you in the future classes okay plants breathe through small holes called stomata present on their leaves these holes are so small that we cannot see them with our naked eyes not cool like gotta gudilla but if you take a thick leaf thick leaf observe cleanly we can see the small pores the small holes right they are called as a stomata with the help of stomata they breathe with the help of stomata they breathe brain teaser which animal has the largest lung find out okay we will find out the largest lung animal right right so here sense organs like our human body is having the sense organs right we have a eyes nose skin tongue and ears with the help of these we can feel and we can hear we can watch we can feel the taste right with the help of these sense organs if you don't have this on sense organ then what there's just nothing the but the body without reacting to anything we can feel the heat and cold with the help of our skin right we can feel the we can uh, taste through our tongue we can take we can breathe through our nose we can hear through our ears we can see with the help of our eyes these are sense organs most animals have special body parts called sense organs the most of the animals are having sense organs most animals have special body parts called sense organs eyes ears nose tongue and skin are the sense organs eyes eyes ears nose tongue and the skin are the sense organs right okay animals can see with the help of their eyes animal can see with the help of their eyes eyes with the help of their eyes animal also sees ears help them to hear ears to help them to hear the nose help them to smell the nose help them to smell the tongue helps them to taste the tongue helps them to taste and the skin helps them to feel the thing as i told you with the help of these sense organs we can feel we can hear we can see we can taste if you don't have sense organs means we can't able to hear we can't able to see we can't able to taste we can't able to smell and we can't able to feel animals can see with the help of their eyes ears help them to hear the nose help them to smell the tongue helps them to taste and the skins help them to feel plants do not have these sense organs plants whereas the plants are not having these sense organs these sense organs all right the animals have sense organ that helps them to know that help them to know the world around them that help them to know world around them all right animals have seen sense organs that help them to know the world around them right it's interesting it is interesting owls are able to see even at the night time owls are able to see even at the night time their eyes are spe specially equipped to see the see accurately at night in their eyes they have they are they can able to see in the dark night means the dark in the dark also they see 
the equipped with a special accurately they can see at night owls are able to see even at the night time their eyes are speci specific specially equipped to see accurately at night right they also have a very remarkable hearing ability to help them to hunt their prey prey means or the targets for the food right they also have very remarkable hearing ability to help them to hunt their prey right clear here prey means the food right clear next is let's check right true or false the tiny holes through which insects breathe are called stomata false they are called as a spiracles it's a false statement plants do not have the sense organs yes they do not have the sense organs that true statement they that is true statement and the here which animal has the largest lung find out means here the whale blue whale the great blue whale is having the large lungs in their bodies okay most and okay that's all about sense organs the all the animals are having sense organs they breathe they need air water sunlight and a food they breathe and they reproduce they reproduce what do you mean by reproduce the producing of its own kind is called as a reproduce producing the its own kind of animal is called the reproduction right reproduction all living things reproduce all living things reproduce ella jeeva irtakanta vastugalu reproduce all living things reproduce animals such as deer goats dogs elephants and tigers give birth to their young ones like we take birth the animals called deer goats dogs elephant and tigers also give birth to their young ones right their young ones of their own kind right some animals such as insects birds fish and frogs lays lay eggs these eggs hatch into the young ones for example we have a hen we have a insects right we have a birds we have a fish we have frogs they lay first they lay eggs through that their leg eggs are hatched into the their young ones okay try to understand this deer goats dog elephants and tigers give birth to their young ones right which animals are those deer goats dogs elephants and tigers etc you know there are so many buffaloes cows etc they give birth to their young ones right some animals such as insects birds fish and frogs they lay eggs they lay eggs these eggs hatch into young ones right koli koli mare koli matte koli mare adu koli mariya guttalla first eggs barutte eggs kot mele adakke eggs ge adu ond process aad mele adu vas divas aad mele aa motte inda koli barutte hatch means the these eggs hatch into young ones right tilita adhe riti ಕೆಲವು ಇನ್ಸೆಕ್ಟ್ಸು ಬರ್ಡ್ಸು ಫಿಶ್ಶು ಫ್ರಾಕ್ಸು ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾವೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಎಗ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಆ ಎಗ್ಸಿಂದ ನಂತರ ಅದರದೇ ಆದಂಥ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಹುಟ್ಕೋತದೆ ರೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ರೀಪ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹೌ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯನಿಮಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಸೀಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ seed or some plants having their own stem with the help of own stem we can have the make a different same plants another small plant through the stem also right plants give rise to a new plant through seeds a new plant can also develop from other plants other parts of the 
plants such as leaves and uh, stems and roots right some plants such as develop from the other parts of the plant such as leaves stems and roots with the leaves we can we can we can uh, plant a new plant that is called with the help of new leaves stems and roots with the help of these three we can plant a new plant of the same kind plants give rise to new plants through seeds plants give rise to new plants through seeds ella ond bija ninda ond ond bija irutte ella adralu if you see that watermelon apple orange lemon okay pomegranate and even if you go for uh, tarboos the, all the plants have seeds in them the seed is uh, with the help of seed the, we can grow a baby plant we can grow a baby plant of the same kind right plant give rise to new plants through the seeds a new plant can also develop from other plant other parts of the plant such as leaves stems and roots for example if you want a rose plant a rose plant will not produce any seeds but rose plant if you want to plant then you need to take one stem stem and put it in the soil and put a water air water sunlight then automatically water you need to put sunlight and air will be available if they are get enough con enough sufficiently then automatically it plants to a new plant with the help of stem some people need a leaf of that animal with the help of leaf the new plant can we can produce a new plant okay and some plants gives rise a new new plant that is through root roots also we can they can give rise to a new plant okay so this is the process of the plants the small baby plant through that a new plant rises right plant give rise to new plant through seeds a new plant can also develop from other parts of the plants such as leaves stems and roots right such as leaves stems and roots yav plant ge seeds barodillo aa plant inna ondu eli athwa ondu stem athwa adrodondu root root andre bear stem antandre adrodondu tongue adrodondu branch tagon bittu mannalli yachi bitre ond hosa plant hut kolutte let's check a new plant can develop only from the leaves stem and roots falls new plant can gives rise to a new new plant they develop a new plant through the seed if they won't produce the seed then leaves stems and roots this is a false statement all living things and all living things reproduce all living things and non living things re produce all the living things and non living things reproduce all the living things and non living things reproduce no no non living things won't reproduce this is the first statement okay science lab activity how do seeds grow into new plant how do seeds grow into new plant right how do seeds grow into a new plant materials required you ask to your mother the germination we can see fresh seeds of your choice such as coriander of any greek menti or vendayam vendayam beans or peas right go good quality soil a pot to hold the soil and water procedure here is fill the fill the pot with soil sow the seeds into the in the soil place the pot where it receives enough sunlight try to avoid the direct sunlight okay keep the soil moist by watering it every day be careful not to use too much water okay record your observation see science lab activity you can do it at your home just you can plant a new plant using some seeds 
how do we seeds grow into new plant materials required fresh seeds of your choice such as coriander fenugreek menthe or vanadium beans or peas any animal you can take any pulses hesar kaalu alsande kaalu metke kaalu yavadar kaal thagodri try madi good quality soil good quality soil coriander andre kothamri kothamri bija agibidre kothamri palle varuthu mente palle achre mente bija agire mente palle varuthu right good quality soil you need a good quality soil a pot to hold the soil a pot to hold the soil right and water these are the materials required the procedure to plant a new new uh, seeds are fill the pot with soil fill the pot with soil sow the seeds in the soil sow the seeds in the soil place the pot where it receives enough sunlight a pot elli idbeku andre sakashtu pramanadalli adakka belak sikbeku suryan belak sikbeku try to avoid direct sunlight pura bislagi idbeku keep the soil moist moist andre so hasi irbeku hasi sirbeku mani by watering it every day hasi irbeku andre jaasti neer hakbardu adakke too much water is kodbardu adu pura yellow color agibudu record your observation see small baby plant in the seed in the small baby plant horgade barutte allin the small 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 agibudu ondina third plant agutte just watch the records record observe the record your observation nimage en kanutte adu record maadi first day engittu second day engittu that observation you can write in your notebook okay within 15 or 20 days it tries to a small baby plant okay clear this is the science lab activity you can do it okay the balance in nature the balance in nature balance in nature animals depends directly or indirectly on plants animal depends on directly or indirectly on plants we know that some animals eat plants so they are directly depends on the plants for food plant for food animals that eat other animals also depends on the plants because that animal is going to eat the plant and that plant that animal the and that animal is going to eat right animals that eat other animals also depends on the plants how for example a lion eats a rabbit a rabbit in turn eats the plant so the lion depends indirectly on plants if rabbit want to live the rabbit is going to eat the plants if the lion want to eat the rabbit the rabbit is is to be has to be eaten a plant then the lion is indirectly depends on the plants right animals that eat animals that eat other animals also depends on the plants how for example a lion eats a rabbit a rabbit in turn eats a plant so the lion depends indirectly on the plants plants also provide shelter to animals plants also provide shelter to animals if you can see the most animals live in the plants in the nest the birds live in the nest okay and even the most animals like uh, uh, rat snake they live in the earth in the roots of a plant and the most uh, mm, like most animals live on the plants okay plants and animal depends on each other okay oxygen provide given by the plants the main source of oxygen is from the plants oxygen it serve it supplies to all the animals it supplies to all the animals plants and animal depends on the each other plants and animals depends on each other this is the picture that shows you how plants are useful to the animals all right okay okay plants depends on animals for making their food plants depends on animals for making their food 
plant uses the carbon dioxide given by the animals to make their food see plant prepares the food with the help of carbon dioxide that is the waste given by the animals the waste given by the animals that they take in and they prepare their own food right plants depends on the animals for making their food plants uses the carbon dioxide given out by the animals to make their food plants in turn give out oxygen through their food making process see such a very useful living thing which is present on the earth it's very much useful okay the plants make their food with the help of carbon dioxide that is the waste given out by the in the process of breathing given out by us by all the animals in the process of breathing that carbon dioxide the plant takes it prepares their food in turn it produces a, an oxygen it produces out a it turn out it gives out a oxygen during their food making process this gas food making process this gas is used by animals for breathing okay in turn give out oxygen during their food making process this gas is used by the animals for breathing animals also help in carrying seeds of plants to far off places okay animals also help in carrying seeds of plants to far off places there is also a balance between the animals and plants in the nature there is also a very good balance between the plants and animals right hope you understood this lesson so for that i recommend you to read the lesson thoroughly again and again try to understand the each and every word and each and every sentence okay and try to understand thoroughly we are familiar with all these right we are familiar with all these namgella gotu other we don't know the systematic way right we know the plants are living things we know the animals we know the but we should know how they eat what they move how they breathe right and what their egg ones are called okay how they reproduce they reproduce with the help of eggs or they reproduce at the same kind through the baby like that we should know each and every process of the things which is around us that is called science that is called science right the very nature the in the very nature we should try to understand each and every animal each and every organ living organism or living thing okay clear so here the word power sense organ means special body parts such as ears eyes ear nose tongue and skin that help us to know the world around us right and here let's recall what all we have learned in this lesson animals move from place to place in search of food and water and also to escape from their enemies okay animals move from place to place in search of food and water and also to escape from their enemies all living things need food and water to live all living things need food and water to live animals eat plants and some animals some animals eat other animals right animals eat plants and some animals eat other animals right some animals eat animals other animals some animals eat only the plants most animal breathe through lungs and some animals through moist skin sparacles etc okay fish breathe through gills and plants breathe through leaves fish breathe through gills and plants breathe through leaves most animals have sense organs eyes ear nose tongue and skin all living things reproduce all living things reproduce ella ee bhoomi alli irthakkanta ella jeevigalu adrude adantaddu ondu reproduce maartava there is a balance in nature that is a plants take in carbon dioxide released by animals and animals take the oxygen released by the plants is a balance right between the plants and animals the 
plants take carbon dioxide released by the animals and animals take the oxygen in the released by the plants the oxygen is very important that is why <coughs> that is why we all not only we all all the creature live in on the earth right so these are the things we have learned in this lesson i request i recommend uh, to read again and again this lesson try to understand after understanding this lesson well, let's move on to the question answer time right true or false plant can't move from one place to another place true they can't able to move from one place to another place all animals have tiny holes on their body through which they breathe false only few animals have a holes on their body okay so next is here birds fly with the help of wings birds fly with the help of wings true plants do not have the sense organs but some plants respond through touch okay plants do not have the sense organs but some plants respond through touch it is true one do touch me not on a plant if you touch on it it will automatically it closes its leaves right new plants only grow from seed falls it grows from the stem it grows from the leaves it grows from the roots okay now this is look at the following animals right the right in the space provided whether the animals eats plants animals and both plants and animals goat plants tiger plants of other animal the tiger other animals it eats peacock other animals as well as the plants okay both plants and the animal peacock goat eats only the plant tiger eats only the animal and peacock eats both plants and animals in future classes in the next classes we are supposed to learn about carnivorous herbivorous or omnivorous plants animals right so in future classes we study that so this is the answer time i will provide you the question answers not to worry next is let's explore the amazon rain for the amazon rain forest is called as the lung of the world see the forest are called as the lungs of the earth the forest are called as the lungs of the earth find out on which continent rain forest is also get some interesting information about the forest and make a scrapbook just do some activity based on this okay find out the, on which continent continent this rain forest is and also get some interesting information about this forest and make a scrapbook amazon rain forest try to find some information in the google and write it in your scrapbook values and life skills values and life skills plants do not have sense organs yes so it's okay to pull out their roots pluck leaves flowers and fruits for fun would you do it share your views in the class so is it correct to pluck the plants pluck the flowers unnecessarily pluck the fruits pluck the leaves and just break the stems no right no right so how it is useful you know in a, in a previous classes we have studied how the plants are useful for human beings and all the creatures living on this world living in on this earth do you know plant gives us oxygen without that we can't able to live for a moment each and every time we breathe each and every moment we make a breath without the oxygen any animals can't live clear plant gives us food vegetable fruits flowers it's each and every part we are going to use leaf we eat fruit we eat vegetables are in the form of what what leaf fruit okay so some somehow we can't able to live any part any part even with the help of wood 
given by the plants we used to make our doors windows table benches etc right and with the help of plants only we get our clothes cotton cotton clothes clear the plant plants are very useful for not only human being all the creatures living on this universe clear okay so let's fun time it's a fun time so can you see how the baby plant emerges from the seeds through the glass jar so that activity what we did with that uh, what activity we have told in the previous science lab that activity you do and observe you will come to know the same activity is here that you, have, you can just read it and do it environment science what's environment science let's integrate we have just learned that there is always a balance between the animals and plants in the nature in nature to make food plants take in the carbon dioxide co2 that the animal breathe out but do you know that trees are being cut continuously what will this lead to let us find out it leads to a global warming it leads to a global warming what do you mean by global warming climate changes lot of hot lot of heat lot of sunlight lot of humidity lot of rain somewhere somewhere no rain like this this imbalance will be caused if you cut the trees as the trees are called the forestic forest are called as a lungs of the earth lungs of the earth if you want to go into hit on the lungs of the earth it's going to create a imbalance in the universe right so this is goal 13 of the united nations sustainable development goals goals 13 of the united nations sustainable development goals states that we must take urged action to combat the climate change in and its impact visit to the web link this is the web link you, you type this in the google to watch the song give me your co2 developed by a ricky cage ricky cage right and indian grammy award winning composer this video is a part of the album called my earth song i think we have started we have sang that song open the door open the windows let the air come in let the light come in so that is we have sang that poem okay for more detail you visit this web link you type this web link you can listen to the song okay right hope you understood this lesson thoroughly if at all you find any doubts so i recommend i request you to read this lesson each and every word try to understand each and every sentence okay and try to know out properly try to know about properly right thoroughly right so if at all you find any doubts just give me a call i will share you the question answers fill in the blanks match the followings you don't bother about if you know if you try to understand this lesson so what what we are doing through this we are knowing the things which is around us we are knowing the animals which is around us we are knowing the plants which are around us we are knowing the birds which are around us we are knowing the insects which are around us we see how they breathe how they move how they eat what they eat all things we must know right it's very interesting right so that then you have to watch this video listen to it carefully again and again and read this lesson thoroughly and and try to solve your understandings try to solve your understandings okay i'll give you the solutions here that's not a pro problem the problem is with your understanding your knowing right hope you understood this concept thoroughly this lesson thoroughly and if at all you find any difficulties in understanding just give me a call between 10 am to 5 pm okay till then take care see you in the meet you in the next session bye